So one ticking is not time, but your life. Time is all we have, this moment, right now. There is only one thing in our lives that we are never able to reacquire once it's gone. It's time. Every morning, when you wake up, you are living minutes you can never get back. There is no moment more important, more perfect than right now. There is no ceiling, there are no limitations. There are no special requirements. There is you and what you allow yourself to accomplish. You are where you are because that's where you've decided to be and you've accepted it as okay. Hello everyone, I'm back again and for this week we will be talking about time management. Everyone is very familiar with it. Some are good in managing their time. Some are like me na panapanahon. Kung there is a time in a month na ganahan kay ko to accomplish things, but there are also those times where I really don't like doing anything. Is it good? I don't know. I'd like to consider it as my break. <laughs> well, time management is important because if you're able to manage your time properly, then you can save more of it and less effort sa sa imuhang party. There are times that I struggle to manage my time. I'm all over the place. If I want to do something, then I do this and then I do that and then hantod mapuno ako sa mga butang na wako kahibawa sa padung. And then another reason is I procrastinate and I'm not proud of that. I'm trying to be better in managing my time but it's a process. This topic that I'm going to share with you is the teen secrets that are not secret anymore that I've gathered from successful people. Let's start. Number one, time is your most valuable and scarciest resource. We all have 140 minutes in a day. Successful people always count the minutes in giving the value of time. I never really think of time management before uh, in this manner where I do it by minute. Well, until now, I haven't really gotten into that level of time management. I still do it hour or uh, minutes. Minutes. I do it in minutes. 30 minutes. What I usually do is if I have a task, I check my watch and then I try to time and like how long I can do it if it's not planned. Like example, at work, kung naipabuhat ang ako ang manager and then I have to manage the time at the moment so I do it by minute. But in my personal life, I'm still at the hour level. But successful people, they say, uh, manage their time in minutes. Second, identify your most important task and do it first. Know what is your goal and break it down into small tasks and have the discipline to follow it through and accomplishing them according to importance. I think I've mentioned it on my other vlog where I talk about daily highlights. For me, that's how I do things. I set one goal that when I accomplish it, I call the day as a win. But psychologists say that we have two hour window in the morning where that's we are at our cognitive best. So successful people work on those R to maximize their best mental state. Third, work from your calendar, not on your to-do list. To-do list most of the time becomes a graveyard of important but not urgent things. Successful people work on their calendar, that means they pick a day and time on their calendar and follow through. Last year, my practice everything on to-do list. I rarely plot my activities in calendar. After hearing about this idea, I was like, maybe this will work. Most of my free time, I just do things that I like doing. And I'm in this journey of improving myself, so it doesn't require so much presence of other people where I have to 
plot in in the calendar. Fourth, to overcome procrastination, beat your future self. Recognize what attitude you have today that can jeopardize your future self and start beating it. If you recognize one trait that you have that you don't like and you think it will hinder you from achieving your goal, then try to eliminate that attitude now. So if the time will, it won't be a problem. There will always be more to do. Successful people end their day when they are tired, not when they are done because they know things will never get done. I think we all can relate to this where we think we've accomplished things today, tomorrow there will be additional tasks or another set of projects that we have to deal with and for this matter it, it's good to be hardworking but you have to set your limit like if you are tired then you can take a rest it's not procrastination it's more on like giving yourself rest so the next day you can do and perform better because if you keep saying that i'll just finish this one i'll just finish this task and then after that for sure you will be tempted to do another task so it's important to stop yourself and give yourself a break always carry a notebook our minds are best used for processing different ideas not to hold on to information these days i think the most accessible thing that we have that's always in our packet or in our bag is a uh, cell phone for me i use notion to keep track on the things that i do it's very helpful and it's free and because our mind is intended to process things not to remember so if you have important tasks it's important than to put it somewhere so you can have a physical thing to look at or to look back on para maguide ka on what to do next. 7. Control your inbox. Shut off the notifications on your phone. If it's important, have it on reminder. So early this year, I think I start doing this. I check my email every morning. I switch off my social media notifications and badge because I don't want to get tempted of opening it. I only have notification for WhatsApp and Messenger. The rest it, everything is off schedule and attend meetings as a last resort if you have to attend a meeting say no to long meetings personally i don't like attending to meetings because mahogman siya nga ka ng ang employee they just vent out their emotions during the meeting and i don't think that's a good practice maybe if it's very objective then okay but if like mahogman lang siya nga ka ng na historia historia and then it doesn't concern me or the department then i don't like attending to it i'd rather do other tasks that would help me on my operation or other things i would suggest a meeting to know the client more to build rapport say no to everything that doesn't support your immediate goals successful people know their goals and they build their calendars with small tasks that need to be done successful people they don't do like last minute things where i'm very prone to mo siguro nang medyo layo layo pata sa tong go if you have an immediate goal that you want to accomplish and you ha and you want to follow through your calendar then it's okay to say no and to decline the invitations as long as you do it politely so it feels good to accomplish your mini task or your short-term goal and, and lately i've been doing this where like, in last minute i'm not a fan of it not unless i'm very free at that day and it's important number 10 follow the powerful pareto principle or the 80 20 rule it is the idea that 80 percent of the result in almost anything comes from 20% of the activity. I have another video about it. Maybe you can somewhere. Instead of doing everything, focus only on the, like instead of aiming for perfection on your mini task, you focus more on the 20% that gives more results. Save your time by not wasting your effort. Focus on your unique strength and passion. 
you need to remember the power of delegation. If you are leading a team, it's very important to understand and to trust your team member because if you don't learn to trust them on what they're capable of doing then you end up doing everything which is not good for you and for your team because because as a leader you don't want to throw yourself alone and leave your team members behind not knowing what to do so let them do it guide them if they fail then for sure they can learn everyone fails so be patient and learn to delegate batch your work with recurring themes to have more focus on what you're doing set a date that you will work on the things of the same theme successful people have this thing like they break down their week or month into focus day it's a day or a period of time in a week wherein they focus on the things that they are passionate about and serves as their strength another one is the buffer day wherein they respond to emails and other like admin tasks third is the rest day wherein they don't work they just rest if you can do a task in less than five minutes do it immediately a uh, touch it once principle if it's easy task learn to process it once don't go over it several times and waste your minutes example of this is if you have a pile of letters like bills you segregate them to the things that are important and then the rest if it's not important just throw it right away don't pile it on the other side because tendency you will go through it again and then you will waste your time 14 routinely use early mornings to strengthen your mind your body and your spirit make the first hour of your day count allocate it to condition your mind for the day ahead for me how i do it is having my breakfast a good breakfast is a good day the best way to start a day is with good breakfast and a good cup of coffee so if i have that i think i can conquer the world Productivity is about energy and focus, not time. We have the same 1,440 minutes a day and we can't get more than that. Focus on your health, sweat, and have a good sleep. The most productive people are those who take more breaks and focus on back to their tasks. Lately, I'm trying my best to be healthy in ways that I can afford rather eat cheap healthy food as long as I I get the vitamins that I need then I'm okay with that and for like exercise I'm trying to do at least 15 minutes of exercise because mini habits I always have at least seven hours of sleep on my off day I go tan I, tar I always try to optimize my sleep so if I have enough sleep then i'm more focused even if you spend a long period of hours if your attention and your focus is not there then what lagi happen asha i'd rather do things in a short period of time and be productive i hope you learned something from this video that you can apply to help you manage your time better i'm not time management expert i'm just like you who also struggle on how to make the most of our day to live a better life spend your time wisely and have a good day